to your study guide video. Today we are doing 7th grade chapter 6 study guide. Question number 1 says Edwin's mother is 57 years old. Her age is 3 years more than twice Edwin's age. What is Edwin's age? So his mother is 57 years old. Her age is, so her age is three years more, so three years more than twice Edwin's age. So two times Edwin's age, that's his mother. So three more than twice Edwin's age. So this is just a two-step equation. So you start on the side with the variable, but you start with the number without the variable. So this is a positive 3, so you're going to do the opposite and subtract 3 from both sides. So 2e is what you will bring down, and 57 minus 3 gives us 54, and we would divide both sides by 2. This cancels, and we are left with e is equal to 54 divided by 2, which is 27. Now, your variable does not have to be E. Your variable could have been any letter that you choose, but your answer should have been 27. Edwin is 27 years old. All right, question two. In a basketball game, Benito scored three points less than twice the number of points Carnell scored. Okay, Benito scored three points less. So if he scored three points less, then it's whatever they scored minus three because he was three less than them. So less three, and it is a subtraction, but it's not three minus something. Twice the number of points, two times the number of points that Carnell scored. So if it's three less than two times the number of points, you have to take two times the number of points and subtract three from it. And that is how much Carnell scored. Again, this is just a two-step equation. You start on the side with the variable, but you start with the number without the variable. That's saying minus 3 right now. You have to do the opposite and add 3 to both sides. This cancels. And you're left with 2n is equal to 8 plus 3, which gives us 11. We want to divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 times n is n. And 11 divided by 2 gives us 5.5. .5. So our answer is that Benito scored 5.5 points. I don't think it's possible to score half a point in basketball, but maybe he, maybe it was an assist. We'll, we'll call it that. Okay, so let's do problem number three. It's t plus 16 equals 7. This is a one-step equation. Our variable is on the left, so we start on the side with the variable, and we want to get rid of the positive 16. So we have to get rid of it by doing the opposite. So we subtract 16 from both sides. So we're left with t is equal to 7 minus 16. So you can just put that into your calculator. And you get negative 9. To make sure that you got the right answer, just plug negative 9 back into your problem and make sure that you get 7 when you put it back in there. Okay, this one. W divided by 4 is equal to negative 11. Right now, we want to start on the side with the variable and see what's happening to our variable is being divided by 4. So the opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4. This cancels, and we are left with W is equal to negative 11 times 4, which is negative 44. So our answer is that W is equal to negative 44. Okay? Just do it here. Draw your line straight down from the equal sign. Find the start on the side with the variable. And then do the opposite to get rid of what's happening to it. So right now, 
k is being multiplied by 3, so we want to do the opposite to solve, and that's divide both sides by 3. So we're left with k is equal to 31 divided by, or not 31, 81 divided by 3, which gives us 27. So our answer is 27. Some people like to flip-flop, and you could have at the beginning and put 3k on the left and 81 on the right. That's fine if you want to make sure that there, you always have the variable on the left-hand side. Okay, so we draw your line down from your equal sign. Start on the side with the variable, but start with the number without. This says minus 8, so we're going to do the opposite and add 8 to both sides. This cancels, and we are left with 5 6 x and negative 28 plus 8, which gives us negative 20. So right now, x is being multiplied by 5, 6, so we want to do the opposite and divide both sides by 5, 6. This cancels, and we are left with x is equal to negative 20 divided by 5, 6. When we divide fractions, you need to keep the first, flip the second, and change the sign to multiply. We can cross cancel here. 5 becomes a 1 because 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 20 divided by 5 is 4 then we cannot cross cancel the other way. So four times six gives us 24. And remember, because this four is negative, our answer is negative. And one times one is one. And negative 24 divided by one gives us negative 24. So our answer is negative 24. Okay? Draw your line straight down from your equal sign. Okay, start on the side with the variable. Right now, x is being added to 5, so we want to do the opposite and subtract 5 from both sides. This cancels, and we are left with x is equal to negative 11 minus 5, which gives us negative 16. Okay, again, draw your line down from your equal sign. Start on the side with the variable, but start with the number without the variable. Right now this is adding 1, so we want to do the opposite and subtract 1 from both sides. 18q is left. 37 minus 1 gives us 36. Divide both sides by 18. 18 divided by 18 is 1, and 1 times q is q. And 36 divided by 18 gives us 2. So your answer is 2. Okay, now we need to solve each inequality. So I'm going to rewrite it over here. x plus 7 is less than or equal to 11. So I'm going to draw my line down from my equal sign or my inequality sign. Start on the side with the variable. So I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. This cancels, and I'm left with x is less than or equal to 11 minus 7, which is 4. So this is going to be we need a circle 4. It's going to be a closed dot because it also includes 4. And then we are shading to the left. If you can see that our um, inequality sign is pointing to the left, that is the direction that we shade in. Okay, our last problem. We start on the side with the variable, but we start with a number without the variable, so that's plus 5, so we want to do the opposite and subtract 5 from both sides. We're left with negative 2w is less than negative 5 minus 5, which is negative 10. I want to divide both sides by negative 2. This cancels, and we are left with w, and negative 10 divided by negative 2 gives us a positive 5. Remember, when you multiply or divide with a negative, you have to flip your sign. So instead of less than, now it is greater than. So you want to circle 5. It is not or equal to, so you do not color it in, and it is pointing in the direction to the right. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow.